Hey folks, it's Fritgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Alps Panorama at the Northern Sea here in Farming Simulator 19. So how did you do that? How did you do that thing that you did? He came up over here. He got to this point. Somewhere over here. And then turned into a crazy person. Alright. Start course at next closest waypoint. Drive course. So, you, you, you got over to here, I think, and then you turned into the crazy person. So, let's see. Why are you going to turn into the crazy person? I will change that over. Advanced settings on here. Uh, raise late and early okay that doesn't seem to be like he's not operating like a crazy person now he's operating like a fairly normal operating person i mean yeah he's getting his wiggle on a little bit maybe this is what he did no no he's just wiggled on back a little bit how did you get all the way... Oh, you must have wiggled like that. You must have reversed, but re faced that direction for some strange reason and then went all the way across all of the fields. Now, I'm genuinely at a loss as to how it managed to pull that one off. That is... Uh, harvest 100 hectares. That is uh, quite a remarkable feet I, I i gotta be honest that that is quite a remarkable thing to accomplish um i think it needs recognition this it, it, it's this isn't it look wait for it I can do it again i wanted to go and check on my um zerian over there this this is what it did doesn't like the front mounted sprayer That's what it is. Because the sprayer boom is on the front, it's confused it. And it did this. But it did this. No. Okay, so it didn't do that. Right. Well, in which case, I am fresh out of ideas. I have no idea why it went and did that. All I know is that it did. Big time. And caused us a world of trouble. Right, so you are finished on here. So I'm not sure how I get it to go and like automatically empty. I'm just going to stop the driver now. Um, I guess I could run it over to the next course. But what I think I will do is I'll go and gather up a little bit of the grass. Because we are leaving a huge amount behind here. So I do feel like I ought to gather up some of it at least. Like this. There. Not gathering up very much, admittedly. There. And then over that other side, I know there were some fairly big bits of it left behind as well. So I will back over to there like that. And then lift up those bits. The rest can stay there. And then I will run over this side as quickly as I can and grab up this bit. Look, see, it's these. Like, i got two big chunks of stuff left behind over here there's a lot of material right there seems a bit wasteful really and that in there um yeah i know if we've got like really big scale stuff we actually genuinely wouldn't need to worry about this you just turn the cows out into the field for a little while and they will come along and they will pick it all up and eat it and that will be all taken care of you, you don't need to worry about it so it's a great thing when you've got um, cattle. You just, you, you turf them into the field that you've done your mowing in, and if there's any bits left behind, they will have that up pretty quick. Especially if you're making hay. Like, they really do go nuts of fresh hay. They absolutely love it. Now, next thing that I want to do is I want to have another, I want to have a new unload point. Uh, reach 10 hours of playing time in a single save game. So I'm going to clear the courses there, like that. Then I'm going to go to that one. I've got a course already that I'm going to be using in here. Okay, I've already got that one. 
Now, I'm not supposed to overlap the courses, am I? There's something about not overlapping them. This one here... Oops. Let me lift that up there, and then I'm not doing stuff. So, if I bring this one over here, and this can start here. It's on the edge of the field, and it's in between the two. So, I go like that. And I just want to make sure that I don't have anything. Um, I just got one there that says field three. I've no idea what that... Well, let's, I'll tell you what. Um, field three. Load that. That's something on field three, but I don't know what that is. So I'm just going to delete that one completely. And that one is now gone. Um, clear current course like that. So I've got fertilizer and mowing on field three. That's all we've got. And we want the mowing and we want the fertilizer. We're not going to be using anything else. So I want to set up field three silage tip and that will then be able to use for field two as well. So that's one that we want to record. So we want to start from here. Start course recording like this. And this one should be, in theory, a fairly easy course to do. We come down here like this, and I go up through here, ignoring that lot, like that. Don't get too close to that fence, or I'm going to end up sort of running into problems by running into the fence. And then I want to swing round here, and I want to swing round fairly wide like that, so that I can come in as straight as possible onto this one. That's my theory on this. So I bring you in there like that. I don't need to stop. There, it came up with the tip signal. Then I can move back out this way. Up through there like that. And bring you back over to here. And that's where I'm going to stop right there. Okay. Stop course recording. So then we can save that one. We will call this field... Three silage. Oops, let's capitalize this properly, shall we? We're not savages. Um, silage tip. There we go. All right, field three silage tip. That one is done. So I'm going to clear that course now. And then I'm going to go into here and I'm going to go to field two mowing. And I'm going to load that one. And then I'm going to go to field three silage tip. I'm going to append course at end like that. And then I'm going to go back into here, and then I'm going to switch to the field work like that. Start course at first waypoint over here. And I will bring you around over to there. And then the only other thing that I want to do is I want to go into here, settings, advanced settings, raise early I uh, know raise late lower early there okay I don't know if I need to have that set because it's changed again and I, I didn't have it on there previously and drive course right the Rubicon has now finished I can leave I can bring the Rubicon back and we don't need to worry about that one anymore you are now picking up silage like you're supposed to we will leave the Rubicon where it is for a minute and let it carry on and do whatever it's going to do. Um, well, it's not going to do. It's just, just going to sit there. I want the what? I, I want to watch this one. I want to make sure that this one does what it's supposed to do. We've got Ducky's tractor in black right here. I got another nine, eight thousand, seven thousand liters left to haul into this wagon, and then that should stop what it's doing. Go up to the uh, end of the field over there. And then drive it back to the yard and tip it out. Without any problems whatsoever. That's what it should do. Okay, there we go. We've stopped. We've reached 99%. So it's not actually going to give us a 100% full wagon. Um, assuming that that is something to do with course play. And that that is nothing else. But that that is an assumption that I am making. Uh... Well, you've made a pig's ear of that job, haven't you? Right, I'm not quite sure why he's decided that he doesn't want to do his job. I want... Let's... One thing at a time, shall we? We'll focus on this one to start with. You're coming in here. 
I just want to make sure that he will actually go all the way around and he will tip. I'm going to go like this and I'm going to do that. So I don't have the lines everywhere. That's just going to make it a little bit easier for us to watch. And in you go. Swinging on round. He's just slightly going up onto the concrete. I didn't do that. Not when I came round. So he's not quite following the course that I've left behind. Then he comes in there and he stops and he tips. Okay, that seems to be all fine. So I can leave that one. Wait, what? Why did you do that? Is this one got a limit on what it can take or something? Oh! That's going to be a problem for us. I didn't realize that this one had a limit on what it can take. And also, this one doesn't actually take very much at all. There's only 100,000 liters. So we're going to need to tip that loose into this silo over here and store it and then move it over a little bit to a time. I don't like that. I want this to be a larger... I, I thought this was going to be like a million capacity. Kind of like the hay thing. Oh, I'm going to have to alter this in the game files, I think. I don't like that at all. That is That is something that I don't like. Right, well, he's going to do a little bit more going around the field, but he hasn't got much room to put anything in there. Unfortunately for him. Or for her this time. Uh, Alright, well, now I want to... Wait. Why? You should go to the Zerian next. That one's done. Go to you. Stop driver. Clear that course. Yeah. You're finished. Right, I'll come back and get you in a minute. I... Why is... It's not even letting me go on to this Zerian. Like, I can't tab into the tractor. This tractor no longer exists in the game. Yeah, I don't want you. Zerian 5000 has reached end point, but the tractor no longer exists in the game. Look. Right, that is the weirdest thing that I have seen yet from course play. I have lost a tractor. So I'm going to stop the whole process a minute. Because um, that's not doing anything anyway. And... I think what I will do is I will alter things over here so that that one down there is, um, well, this, I'm, I'm going to change this over. Like, I've, I've got 500 liters that are available in here. I'm, I'm wanting that to be bigger. I, I don't like that that is 100,000 only. That seems a little bit too limited. I know it's only a small machine, but a million, we're, we're big scale here. We're supposed to be big scale. I thought the whole point of this thing was that it was big scale. That is not big scale. So that that's gonna have to be changed. So I might actually I'll I'll, I'll change that in the XML um, to reflect a much larger capacity because it's the same with the output. It's a, a thousand. It's a hundred thousand on each. Whereas I would rather have. A, I'm gonna probably go for ten million. Actually, why not? Let's 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 do it. If we're gonna do it, we may as well do it properly. So I'll add two zeros to each of those numbers, and in theory, that should allow me to carry on. Um, and then, yeah, see, it, it it's not going to let me do that. All right. That'll do. I've got some changes to make, and then we'll see if we can find out what's going on. Okay, I have come back, and we've still got two combined courses loaded on this tractor. Incidentally, that tractor over there has now vanished from the field, but I know where it is, so we don't need to panic about that. Uh, this is the first bit that we want to do. We want to um, start this one up and should be drive course because we've got the two of them we want the nearest waypoint i'm just going to go here a second and okay so we've got that so i should in theory just be able to go start course at first waypoint current waypoint next closest drive course he's going to start up 
and he's driving back out here to the field so in theory he should go back out to the field and then once he gets there he will go into field two over here and pick up a tiny smidgen of material there and then when he's picked up that tiny smidgen of material so he should remember where he was last time. At least I'm hoping that's what he's going to do. And he's not going to go and start working this field again. And then it will carry on. Oh. It looks like he's actually going back to the beginning of this field, unfortunately. Yes. So he's going to go round this one here until he gets back to the point that we were on previously. Um, it's... But did manage to get a little bit on there. He's only got to go twice round, so it's not exactly very far that he's got to go. Now, the big problem is the next field over. We want to work that one. Uh, so I'm just going to very quickly go to this one. And the game put this one over here. Like It seemed to lose this one completely and didn't know what it had done with it so it's gone and dumped it over here so just to be on the safe side I've actually deleted the course from field three and I'm hoping I can generate a new course without it causing us any major glitches any major problems we will have to see I will drive it back to the yard a minute and it still remembered the speed it was traveling on from before so we'll speed that up a bit and we'll drive this one back over. I'm not actually going to go to the yard. I'm going to drive up this road right here and we're going to go uh, straight to the edge of the field. I need to find where I was roughly last time. Okay, that Zerion is saying 100% by the look of it. So we need to go back to that one over here. Okay, so he's, he has gone round. He's gone round a little bit and he's now reached the 99% full on the trailer. Uh, just a, it, for some reason it's not actually going to 100% but that doesn't really matter this is the test okay I altered the capacity on this machine on the silo I'm hoping that the capacity will actually show up to one that is already placed down this is the big big test will it show the capacity for one that is already placed down I did not drive over that bit when I did it Right, it's showing capacity in there. That's 90,000 in there. And it's dumping the whole lot in. Right, excellent. That means it is working. It's got the new capacity. Now, at the moment, this one, I've set it to 1 million litres. 1 million input as well as 1 million output. And the processing speed is going to be a little bit faster as well. So it should take all of the stuff that we need. I thought that 1 million was about enough, and I figured that if we want more than a million, then we'll just have to make additional silos rather than doing anything different. I thought I figured it would be better to have additional silos rather than uh, trying to have one that's got like 10 million on it or something like that, because we can go and put grass in the big silos over there, so we could always use that and have that as like the transfer point. And now you're coming over and you should go back to working it in a circuit around the field. So long as it can tow the trailer around okay, that should be absolutely fine. So bring you round like that. There we go. It's a little bit sharp on there, but it seems to be doing the turn all right. And now he's engaged. And that one is away. Excellent. Right, so that one is going there where it should be. We've got no issues on there. And I'm going to leave the... Actually, I'm not going to leave the course showing now. I think we'll get rid of all of that lot. There. That one can just now carry on and do what it needs to do. We need to go back to this one. This is where we started the field. Now, I am actually going to try and generate the course all over again in the same place. Do exactly the same settings. I'm hoping that this is going to work. So, we want to unfold that one. Everything else should be fine. And just bring it to about here. I want to start this course here. So I'm going to start the course from where the tractor is. And we're going to go there like that. So I'm going to go to field work on there. We're going to go to course generation. 
We're on field three, so we want to go there. Field three, user. We go to headland. I want three passes. Now, what I did previously was I skipped rows because I thought that would be easier for the course play on that one. But I don't know. Some people have said that he should do reverse without needing to skip the rows. So I'm going to attempt it without skipping the rows. We'll set that on nine meters there. And I'll run it like that. And hopefully what has already been cut will be right in the middle of where we want. I'm going to put that onto... I don't remember what I had previously, but I'm going to have it on turn. So I will generate that course right there. That looks to be roughly where it was before if it's not it's not we'll have to figure something out but it does look pretty close i will actually open hud with right mouse button there that's what i wanted to do okay that's definitely different angles on the corner over here but what it's like for the rest of it i don't know all right. I was told that there's a possibility that, you know, occasionally your course play folder can become corrupted and you have to delete them all. I suspect it's because I had to move all the data from the other PC onto this one because that was the first time I'd used the this course on this PC. So there may be another couple of courses that we have some issues with. Um, I'm hoping there aren't, but uh, yeah, we, we, we'll wait and see. So we want to just drive course and I'm going to drive the full course. I'm going to let it run the entire course. Uh, what I am going to do, though, is going to do that. I'm going to say stop driver because you are supposed to be. Uh, I need to change to that one. Now, how do I alter that bit? Left control Y. There. Right. Selected work mode, swath dropping. Now, I'm going to go in here because I want to just make sure that there isn't a setting that we've got for that. Reversing speed three miles an hour. No, we're not going to do three. We'll do at least six. I actually increased it. No, I increased the turn speed, didn't I? So we'll put that to nine. Fourteen and... Eight, I think, maybe on there. Speed from recording. Nothing there. There's nothing about it there. Activated last couple of lanes. Now current waypoint, next closest drive course. Right. That's now dropping material like it should. It seems to be mostly, I'm hoping. The edge of the field is like, oh, did I make the thingy a little bit bigger last time? Uh, a little bit smaller. Did I say the mowers were smaller than they actually were? I did do that occasionally. And I'm wondering if I did it with this one the first time and then that's why it didn't come up right. Uh, not not why it made it, it got all buggy, but why it's now looking slightly different on the tracks. Like we are moving out ever so slightly, but I mean we'll, we'll keep this running. We'll keep this going like this. I'm going to save this course. This is field three mowing. Field three mowing like that. We'll save that one in there like that and see I've got to actually activate in order to jump to the next one. I mean, I don't need to jump to the next one because I can just leave that that one. We can let it keep going. I can just go over here like this. Okay, so you've reached an endpoint right there. I'm going to go to here and I'm going to say continue because I'm hoping what that's going to do is it's going to run an empty out the last little bit. And I'm not going to worry about these small bits of corners painful though I find it I would rather just leave all the bits that aren't getting done oh right I don't know why you're doing that so I'm gonna activate it a little bit 
right there. And I'm going to activate a bit more. I'm, well, I'm, I'm, I'm leaving it running just while I'm picking up a couple of bits right there like that. And I'm going to go this way onto the course over here. And I'm going to say drive course. And that will go through and should go and tip out. And then we can worry about the rest in a minute. So we'll let you keep doing that. I will go back over here. So we've re we've done our first round on this bit. And it was the land work that we got confused on with this one, wasn't it? Now, that's, that's come way out on the corners there. All right, so things are a little bit different on the corners. And then it's moving in here. So there are going to be some differences. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the driver now. And I'm just going to go to there. I'm going to travel over to the other end of the field because the land work is definitely different but we hardly touched the land work land work was barely touched so there will be some grass left over on this course and we want to start this course over here I want to start it right there actually I'm going to bring it on up a little bit so I can go to there that's where we need to be and then I'm going to go in here and I'm going to go there advanced settings when to raise, raise late, lower early. That's what I want on this one. Okay, on there. Go back into here and drive course. Right. You're now doing the land work. So we've got these little bits up here. And I'm hoping with the raise late, there we go, raise late. I'm hoping that's going to make a difference as well with the way that, I mean... It's going to have to shunt to get round that bit in order to do the raise late bit or to drop early. Again, that's absolutely fine as far as I'm concerned. And it's going to leave little bits behind. It's not going to leave loads of it behind. You over there. I will switch to you. You can stop now. Right, enthusiastic as as you are, we, we don't actually need you to be doing this. So then I'm going to clear that course completely from there and what we're going to do instead I need this one to actually get doing and uh, start doing some work over any other field I do want it to start but I don't know if I should wait until all the mowing is finished because otherwise I got a feeling that they're going to end up sort of getting tangled up with each other which would be a bit of a jolly nuisance we didn't really want that to happen and I did say I was going to leave these bits of grass behind and here I am enthusiastically gathering them all up there we go I am definitely a man of my word <laughs> every single time. We can get this one started. I've got the right course. Okay, I don't know what happened there. Did he actually drive through the pond without me realizing down there? Uh, I'm, I'm not really sure what that was all about. But anyway, what we will do is we're going to go over to this point right here. And we're going to load some courses. We're going to load... Field 3 mowing, right there. Load that course. And then field 1, si no, not field 1 silage tip. What did I call that extra bit of course? Field 2 hay, field 1 silage tip. It wasn't that one. Field 3 silage tip. Wait a minute. Get rid of that. Field 3, silage tip. Where is that one? Go to here. I'm pretty sure it was field 3, silage Well, that's about all we've got time for in today's episode. So we're going to go and take a little bit of a break. We need to chill out on the beach, relax, and build up some strength. So while we're doing that... If you've enjoyed the episode, then could you please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.